Well, as the city reels from a wave of shootings and assaults that have terrified New Yorkers, the NYPD's top cop blaming bail reform laws for the surge in violent crime. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea compares the system to a revolving door. He says far too often people who should stay in jail are instead turned loose. Kayla Mamlak is at one police plaza with more, but you know what? The only way this changes, Kayla, is if Albany is listening, and I don't know if they are. Exactly, Rosanna. To add to your point, this bail reform legislation comes from the state. It is a state law, and it would have to be Governor Cuomo and the state legislature that makes that decision. But keep in mind, the police commissioner is making these comments in response to what's been a year saturated in violence. On Monday alone, there were nine shooting incidents on city streets. And when police do make arrests, the commissioner says, there's often one common denominator. The suspects have been arrested several times before. What are we doing in society? New York City Police Commissioner Dermot Shea sounding off on the state's criminal justice system, reiterating his frequent calls for legal changes that he says would help the NYPD get guns off the street and keep repeat offenders behind bars. We're arresting somebody for pushing a woman down the stairs and then we release them back into the streets. I mean, this is craziness. Another example, a brutal and unprovoked attack on an Asian woman in Chinatown earlier this week. The incident caught on camera, but as a warning, it's difficult to watch. Her back of head hit the outdoor dining frame and she blanked out. Her eyes just went shut, went unconscious. Police arrested Alexander Wright for the attack. Turns out the 48-year-old has a long rap sheet. Records show he's been arrested at least 17 times. A police source says the arrests were for multiple assaults, including an attack on a 72-year-old man, spitting on a woman's face, and punching a police officer. In fact, Wright had just been released on Thursday after police say he went on a crime spree, which included throwing hot coffee on two NYPD traffic agents, scratching a man in the eye, and breaking the glass on a Madison Avenue storefront all on the same day. We cannot be just chasing our tail, catch and release, catch and release. In a tweet, the police union adding, whether this individual needs mental health services, jail time or both, the answer cannot be to put him right back on the street. Part of the problem, the commissioner argues, has been the quick release of individuals through the court system, an unintended consequence of recent changes to bail reform laws. Jeffrey Butts, director of the Research and Evaluation Center at John Jay College, explains the reform, which took effect in 2020. The state changed the law to uh, basically prohibit the use of cash bail and holding people pretrial in secure confinement for misdemeanors, and nonviolent felonies, but they left it alone for anyone charged with a violent felony. While law enforcement officials often argue the system has created a revolving door of criminals, but says his research proves otherwise. About 5% at most of people who are arrested and awaiting trial and then released who get rearrested prior to their trial. Well, if that is the case, it appears Mr. Wright is among that 5% numbers that likely don't provide much comfort to that 55-year-old woman who this morning is still recovering from that attack. For now, we're live here outside One Police Plaza. Lori, I'll send it back inside to you. All right, Kayla, thank you.